On this week's episode, we'll be sharing with you a bit of history on hot air ballooning, followed by taking you with us to Ravenna, Ohio, to the 2022 Ravenna Balloon Affair at the Sunbow Valley Farm. So let's get this show up, up, and away, right here on History and Relics. A scientist by the name of Pilotry de Rosier launched the first hot air balloon called Aerostat Revion on September 19, 1783. The passengers were a sheep, a duck, and a rooster. The balloon stayed in the air for a grand total of 15 minutes before crashing back to the ground. The first manned attempt came about two months later on November 21st with a balloon made by two French brothers, Joseph and Etienne Montgolfier. The balloon was launched from the center of Paris and flew for a period of about 20 minutes. Two years later in 1785, a French balloonist, Jean-Pierre Blanchard, and his American co-pilot, John Jeffries, became the first to fly across the English Channel. Now the English Channel was considered the first step to long distance ballooning, so this was a huge milestone in ballooning history. Unfortunately, this same year, Pilotry de Rosier, the world's first balloonist, was killed in his attempt at crossing the channel. His balloon exploded a half hour after takeoff due to the experimental design of using a hydrogen balloon and a hot air balloon tied together. The next major accomplishment in balloon history was on January 7, 1793, when Jean-Pierre Blanchard became the first to fly a hot air balloon in North America and George Washington was there to see the launch. Moving forward to the late 1950s, Ed Yost took on the challenge of reviving the manned hot air balloon. While early hot air balloons flew due to heating the air in the balloon on the ground or with an onboard fire, Yost's key engineering insight was that hot air balloons could be made to carry its own fuel. The invention of relatively light burners fueled by bottled propane made it possible for the balloonist to reheat the air inside the balloon for a longer flight. Yo's invention improved modern hot air balloons into semi-maneuverable aircrafts. Yost took the first modern hot air balloon flight on October 22, 1960 in Brunning, Nebraska, flying for one hour and 35 minutes. In July 1987, Richard Branson and Per Lindstrom were the first to cross the Atlantic in a hot air balloon rather than a helium gas filled balloon. They flew a distance of 2,900 miles in a record breaking time of 33 hours. A year later, Per Lindstrom set another record, this time for the highest solo flight ever recorded in a hot air balloon at 65,000 feet. The duo of Richard Branson and Per Lindstrom paired up once more in 1991 and became the first to cross the Pacific in a hot air balloon. They traveled 6,700 miles in just 47 hours from Japan to Canada, breaking a world distance record, traveling at speeds of up to 245 miles an hour. Well, we're not out to set any speed or distance records today, but we are out to have some fun at the Sunbow Valley Farm in Ravenna, Ohio for their balloon affair event. So come along with us and let's watch the balloons together.
makes it real tough to keep sturdy. So it's really doing pretty good. Yeah, we don't, we're not leaving. Oh, there is. Yeah. yeah. You said there's no turning, so if no. you go up, you just go wherever. We just go wherever. Uh, really? So we take off and we go uh, uh, however far down that way. Sometimes at different elevations, there are different wind directions, which then allows us to go up a little higher and get a right or a left, and come down and get a little bit of a right or a left. In the morning, there's a lot more what we call steerage, so where it can be here at ground level and here at 3,000 feet. So you'll go up, find something to the right, and then come down a little bit, maybe go up a little bit and come down to find your spot if I was trying to land by your foot. Evening, there's not as much steerage as there is in the morning. Uh, I always say I look for some place with a, a swing set. And the biggest thing is, is because if you land in a yard with a swing set, the kids are happy, the kids are happy, the parents are happy, they're not unhappy that you landed at the property. So uh, you just look for, I like to land in some place like this. With this shape, it has to be a bigger yard because it is about 75 feet wide and about 80 feet tall. Uh, my own balloon is a round balloon, the same size as the Remax one. I'll put it in a little bit smaller spot than I will this one. What's this retail for? Probably be about a hundred thousand dollars. Maximum height. So the maximum height is uh, however high you can fly it until it runs out of oxygen. Legally, though, anything above eighteen thousand feet, you have to have electronics, which we don't carry, an ADSB, a transponder, so that the aircraft can see you. aircraft radio so we have to about every 45 seconds continually put heat in because it's always cooling and it's venting out the bottom so that's basically how you land just quit putting heat in yeah just slow down it's like instead of every 45 seconds every minute there is also in the very top of the balloon the round part up there is a, a So the top, when you go to land, you can pull that uh, rope and open okay. that a little bit to make yeah. you stop, and then to deflate the balloon, you pull that all the way out. Oh, okay. Is it a hard landing? Um, that's the hardest part, yeah. That's the hardest part. It's, I mean, like, like fast, heavy? Oh, if you're landing fast, yeah, you need to get down in the basket and kind of hang on because you're going to skid. But I don't, uh, I don't normally fly in conditions that aren't uh, nice. So, a little, little bit of a gust here. A little bit of a gust. Yeah, this is windy, I think, tonight. It's, 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 th this, I, even if we weren't supposed to stay here, I would not fly this in this wind. It's too windy. It needs to be like six, maybe less. Yeah. What is it today? Do you know what it is? Uh, it's about, it's about eight to ten. So, on the surface here. Up a little higher, it's, uh, up a little higher, it's a little faster. So you get up above the trees and they're doing 15, they get to a thousand feet, they're doing 20. Yeah. So if you think about it, that balloon right there is 80 feet tall. So uh, your whatever elevation that is above the trees, which is about 100, 120 feet, that's the speed that you're going to be making your approach to come into land. It's a long Well, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our program. If you like our content, we ask that you give us a thumbs up, a like, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so you always know when our new content is published. And all of this costs nothing but means a lot to us and keeps us growing. You may also leave us a tip if you choose. The address is provided here on your screen and a link is provided in the description area below. So until next time, everyone, this one is history. Hey, and be sure to check out our eBay store under ID, History, and Relics. We're now featuring channel merchandise, starting with our new logo magnet. They're only $5.50, and net proceeds go towards supporting our channel.